To create this text effect, you want to just like always get yourself a fresh new project, but this time we're going to set it to 4468 for the width, 2160 for the height, 300 resolution, RGB color, and have it on transparent background. Go ahead and press create. You want to go down to the fill icon right at the bottom and get yourself a solid white color. Go ahead and press OK. Once you've got yourself the background, we're going to get ourselves the text tool. Make sure that you are selecting a black color and go ahead and left click on the screen, drag this out and type in your text. The font that I'm using is called Nexa Bold. If you'd like to use the same font, there'll be a link in the description down below. And I've also set it to 282 for the size of the text. Once you've done that and you've got yourself the text, you also want to drag the corners in to fit this to the text. Now that you've done that, you want to go to the first tool, go ahead and press Control or Command and A to select it all and center align your text. Once you've done that, go ahead and press Control and D to deselect it and you have now got yourself the text. We're going to, first of all, get ourselves this image right here, which once again, there'll be a link down below. You want to left click, drag this into Photoshop, you want to scale this up and make it larger. Now that you've done that, we're also going to hold shift and then rotate this to minus 90 degrees. So this is going to cover our text. You can then double left click to apply it. And we're going to go up to filter right at the top, go down to blur and get yourself a Gaussian blur. In the Gaussian blur, you want to set this one to 87 pixels and then go ahead and press OK. We can now hold Alt or Option key in between the text and the image. You can then left click on here and this will clip it onto the text layer. What we need to do is we need to go over to the adjustments, which is right here. If you don't see this open, you can always go to window and it'll be the one at the top. So once you've got yourself the adjustments, we're going to start off with the brightness and contrast. We want to, first of all, make sure that we click this button right here, which will clip it onto the rest of these. For the brightness, you want to set this one to 116 and then set the contrast to 99. And as you can see, if we minimize this, we now have this really cool effect. We also want to go back into the adjustment and get ourselves a hue and saturation. Same as last time, go ahead and clip this onto the one below. We're going to make sure that first of all, we click on colorize. You want to set the hue to 84, set the saturation to 25 and set the brightness to minus 34. And then minimize this. Now that we've got ourselves the text effect, so you want to get yourself a nice variation of different types of images that you want to include onto your text. And if you don't know how to remove the background, it is really simple. If you've got yourself a latest version of Photoshop, anything from CC 2020, you can right click on the fourth tool and get yourself the object selection tool. You then want to hover over your image, left click, and this will select yourself the image. You then want to go ahead and press Ctrl and J to get yourself a copy of it. And we can hide the one underneath it. With this image right here, we can left click, drag this up to our main project and then left click to let it go. We want to press Ctrl and T to resize this. And of course, we want to scale this down to make sure it fits this O right here. Now at the moment, we can't really see much. So we also want to turn down the opacity to 50%. You can then double left click to apply it and you can press zero on your keyboard to set it to 100% opacity. Now what we need to do in order to cut this out we need to first of all hide this rose layer and we want to click on the text layer. Go ahead and press Ctrl and J. We want to right click on the bottom one and convert this one into a small object. We can now get ourselves the fourth tool, right click in here and get yourself the magic wand. With the magic wand, you can now simply left click in here. And with this, we can scroll all the way to the top. We can unhide the rows and we can get ourselves a mask. We press Control or Command and I onto the actual 
mask layer itself. Now that we've done that, we want to go ahead and start to add in some more images. So the first one is going to be Leaf Cutout 4, which is this one right here. And you want to go ahead and left click on here and drag this into your main project. Once again, press Ctrl and T, and we're going to downscale this to make it smaller. And this one is going to go right above this R right here. So we're going to rotate it. What we need to do now is we need to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom where you've got yourself the text layer. You want to hold Control or Command and then left click on the thumbnail. And this will give you a selection of the text. From here, all we have to do is simply get ourselves a mask on this layer right here. You want to go to the brush tool. Go ahead and set it to 175 for the size and set it to 100% hardness. You want to make sure you are selecting a white color and make sure you are selecting the mask itself. And once you've got all of that, you then want to left click and bring the leaf back just by brushing it onto here like so. Once again, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves another image, left click, drag this into your main project and we're going to press Ctrl and T to scale this. So with this one, we want to, same as last time, go ahead and scroll down to the bottom, hold Ctrl or Command, left click on here to copy the selection and then get yourself a mask on top of this layer right here. And from here, we want to get ourselves the brush tool and we just want to paint this area right here. For some of the leaves, what I've done to add a different variation, for example, this one right here, which looks a little bit lifeless, is I've gone over to the adjustments. I got a hue and saturation. And just like before, we want to, first of all, make sure we clip this on to the layer below. We want to click on colorize, set the hue to 96, saturation to 25, and then the lightness to 14. And as you can see, this has now made it look a lot more interesting. From here, you want to follow the same steps, getting yourself multiple different leaves, placing them wherever you think looks best. And what I've done for some of the leaves to have a different variation, for example, these ones right here, which are slightly darker, I've added a levels. Now to add a levels, same as last time, you go into the adjustments and you'll see the levels right here. So same as last time, make sure you clip it on to the actual layer itself. The settings that I've applied are 86, 1, 255, and then 235. If you've never used this before, it's really simple. The first slider will allow you to control the darkness of it. Middle one is the contrast, and the last one is the brightness. And of course, the one below, which is the output levels, works the same. You've got yourself the darkness and you've got yourself the lightness. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.